Jeep Gladiator Sticker Time. everybody how are you today pretty good here and that's right it is sticker time for my new well new to me Jeep Gladiator you see I have to put my channel stickers on my vehicle because you know it's kind of an advertising thing but there is a proper way to put stickers on did you know that you just don't peel the back off and slap them on because if you do it's gonna look like that so first of all I had to remove the stickers that were there this is my mom's old truck, and she had some channel stickers on there from before, and one was actually a little bit crooked, which was my fault because I put them on. So I took those off. We're going to put a couple of new ones on, one for the Jeep channel and one for the Tacoma channel, Rob Motive and Rob Motive JT. Now, I took them off. I took a little razor blade, scratched off any possible remaining adhesive, although I got to say there really wasn't any. And then I use my little concoction. This is just about six drops of water in a 32-ounce spray bottle. It's drops of water. It's actually six drops of dishwashing detergent um, in a 32-ounce bottle of water. Cleaned it all off. So now I'm going to show you how I put stickers on, or decals as they say them up north. This might be just a little bit overkill, I will admit but I want them to be level, at least the same height on each side, and hopefully the same orientation, right? So what I do, I have a level here, uh, and I take a little bit of blue painter's tape, and I use this because it doesn't leave adhesive. It goes on easy, and it comes off even easier. So just about gay much, you know, wherever you want to put the stickers. And then down along the bottom edge of the window, I'm going to line up the bottom edge of the tape. And then I'm going to use that to line up where I'm going to put my sticker, at least oriented towards the bottom of the window. So let's go ahead and do that. Make sure you get it pretty close. This isn't an exact science, of course. I mean, you know, it is a decal, not uh, brain surgery or anything. And, and you know, I would want my brain surgeon to be a little bit more exact than this. Just saying. So if you ever have to have brain surgery, I, I wouldn't suggest doing it this way. So I did it on this side. Now I got to go over and do it on the other side uh, because I am going to put uh, stickers on both sides. So we'll do the same thing. Just kind of line it up across the bottom as close as you can get it. I mean, you know, again, we're not splitting hairs for perfection here, but you have to have something to go by, right? And this will give you something to go by. There you go. Next up, of course, is going to be placement of the sticker. Now, that's pretty simple, and I think I'm going to go with, eh, we're going to go with Rob Motive JT, I think, over here on the driver's side. And I'm just going to use the little edge, if you will, of the tape like so, and then the idea, hopefully, is to get it the same distance from the outside of the window and to orient the sticker so that it's level, if you will. So hopefully, wish me luck, I get that right. It's kind of a one-time shot without damaging and stretching the, the decal, right? Or the decal. Okay. Here we go. Wish me luck. Again, I want it to be about that height. And that looks to be about level to me. Uh, I'm hoping. And it's funny when you put these on, if you don't get them right, man, you can really tell. I think that's pretty darn good. There you go. And then I just use some kind of a soft cloth, in this case a handkerchief, or a hanky, depending on where you're from, uh, to kind of smooth it all down, make sure everything is contacted properly, you know. And hopefully that's straight. Let's see how I did. I'm, for kicks, I'm just going to put a level up against the bottom of the letters. And that is way off. <laughs> it actually would need to be more like this. It's not way off. It's probably uh, uh, maybe uh, 3 sixteenths, maybe an eighth of an inch, something like that. Yeah, I'd say about an eighth of an inch off. 
Uh, that's okay. Again, the naked eye is what we're shooting for here. And yeah, it looks like it's actually pointing that way a little bit. But I don't know if I can live with that or not. Let's do the other side and I may have to pull that off or even get another one. Let's go over there and see if we can't get this one a little bit better. And maybe have to redo that one on that side. Let's see what we get here. Okay. I know you folks watching this are probably thinking, oh my God, I can see he's putting it on wrong. But, what can I say? All right, let's uh, do this one a shot and see what we get. Here we go. I don't know if that's any better or not. Let's take a look at it in a second. And wipe it down on there. Like it's going to stay, you know. Hopefully I got somewhat equidistant from the edge, you know, on each side. Actually, I think I did pretty good there. It's not too bad, actually. Let's check it again just to be overly insane. This one is probably off. How about that? At least I'm consistent. I would say it's probably off exactly the same as the other one. So at least they're both off the same way. Um, let me get all my junk off here. We'll let you guys take a look, see what you think. Um, I may actually adjust this one because I really can see that one is off a bit. This one actually looks pretty good. Uh, yeah, that one looks pretty good. So. I'm gonna adjust the other one. I may have to get another decal, we'll see. They are on and I did take that one off, the Rob Motive JT side behind the driver's seat because it was off a little bit. So let me get out of the way. You guys take a look. Let me know what you think of my placement. So how did I do? You guys got to see it from the back straight on. I'll have to watch it back in the video. I'm not quite sure myself. I think it's pretty darn close. I think they're oriented pretty well. They're not perfect, I must admit. Now, we do have one other thing to tackle while we're out here, and that is this tiger emblem here. You know, I'm not big on company names and stuff, and I know you're gonna say, well, gee, you just stuck Rob Motive stickers on your truck. Well, that's promotion for the business, my business, right? But this, nobody's paying me to drive around with this on the back of my truck. So I'm going to grab a hair dryer. We're going to heat that up a little bit. I'm not even sure if that's necessary, actually. Let me zoom you in, see if it just pulls right off. All right, let's just grab a corner and see what we get. It's pretty warm out here, and the edge is already peeling up, you can see there. So let's see what happens. Hopefully I don't make myself a project. Yeah, it, it's not wanting to come off easy. So I'm gonna hit it with a hair dryer, heat it up a little bit, see if it comes off easy. All right, here we go. Got the hair dryer out here and I am using a hair dryer. I do have a heat gun, but I think heat guns are too hot. I don't wanna damage the tonneau cover itself. And I know there are those diehards out there who are gonna say, oh, heat gonna work if you know what you're doing. I disagree. Always use a hair dryer on anything that you can damage. I had a physics teacher that used to say, a word to the wise should be sufficient. I'm gonna employ that here. Here we go. Okay, it's pretty hot. It's very hot. Let's see if I did any good. Oh yeah. Come on, baby. Come on, you can do it. And I'm trying not to rip it just in case I really screw it up and just want to stick it right back on there. So being a little careful as far as that goes. It's coming off pretty easy. I mean, they do just stick this thing on there, right? I mean, there's no magic to it. There you go. We do have some adhesive left. I'm going to hit that with some goo gone. See if I can't clean that off of there. Ooh, and it is hot. All right, there you go. You can see it is a little bit different color. I don't know if the camera will pick that up, probably because this is faded a little bit being in the sun, but this will fade 
evenly as well. You won't be able to see it. Uh, I don't think there's any adhesive left on there. So awesome, came out pretty good. Okay, so there you have it. We have our decals on the back of the truck, or decals as we say here, um, and our little tiger advertisement gone off of the tonneau cover. Really can't stand those. Anyway, leave a comment. Let me know if you go to this extreme when you're doing stuff like this. Or do you just slap stuff on or rip stuff off? I'd be curious to know. Don't forget to click that notification bell so that you don't miss out on any upcoming videos. And do me a favor, smash that subscribe button on the way out. Thanks for watching. Stay safe out there. Bye.